Hey guys, myself Rakesh and in this video we are going to learn a very interesting thing when it comes to API automation. So in this API automation, we are going to fetch data from this specific website which is creating random uses and it is going to pick the data from this website and it should enter the data into the second website which is known as rpachallenge.com. Okay, rpachallenge.com. It is going to pick the data from the first one and going to enter the data in the second one. So here it is going to enter the first name, last name. So it is going to fill the data and hit on submit. So let me show you. First of all, you'll be like, okay, so how does that really work? So let me first run the demo so that you will understand how this one is working. Then I am going to explain how would you really create a web automation using API. Okay. So first of all, let's look at the execution of this. So the execution has started. Okay, so you can see it has entered the first name, last name, email address, and the phone number. You, did you see it? Let me run it again. Okay, so every time the destination web page is changing, you can see the structure has again changed, but again the fields are the same. So it's going to enter the first name. Look at it. Okay, first name, last name, email address, phone number, and hitting on submit. So how this can be designed? This is interesting, right? This is what we want. So how this can be designed? Let's see this in this video. Okay, so let's get started. Anyone who is very uh, new to this video, um, you got the topic. Now you really want to do it on your own, right? Okay, I'm going to help you. First thing what you do, go in your studio, hit on manage package. Okay, now here what you do, you need to install a package called uipath.web api auto okay this is the activity you need to search search for it uipath web api activities and this activity you need to install and save that is the first thing you should do okay done very good now next thing what we will do we will use the activity called http request okay now in the http request the place from where i need the data i need that endpoint now this website has an endpoint all you have to do you know because I need the API, I not I do not need the URL, I need the API URL. So this API URL for that I am typing API and this is different for different different website. You cannot type slash API for all the websites and get the API. No, that's not possible. So there will be different URLs for everything. So here I am going to copy. Okay, for example, um, for example, rpachallenge.com, right? So if I, if I go to rpachallenge.com, if I write... Um, slash api slash and hit on enter see the, this may not give you any data the resource you are looking for has been removed had its name changed or so it is not able to fetch the data this is only for this specific website so every website has its own set of things so these are the two things keep it open okay okay let's go back and here in the end point i am going to copy this url and paste it easy and i'm not doing anything on this http request i'm keeping it as it is okay and hitting on preview if you can see there's a preview button hit on preview all right so once you hit on the preview it gives you a json data what you do just simply copy it you don't have any understanding no worries just copy it and go to a notepad and paste this data that you have copied okay that's it okay done let's go back to the studio and you need to click on okay so what this activity is exactly doing, because you have provided that API URL, the endpoint what we call, it goes to that server, gets the data in JSON format. JSON format is nothing but this is the JSON format. Okay, you can see curly braces and then colon. So this is the JSON format which has a key and a value, key and a value. Okay. Now, if you have you if you want to really understand everything in detail about JSON, you follow my API playlist. I have explained every bit by bit in detail. You can always follow it, but I will anyways. I am going to help you here in small ways, whatever possible. So now HTTP request. In this one, I got the data. Now, how where do I store the output? Let me open the property panel of this. Okay. Now in the property here, you see on the left hand side there is something called uh, output, and you have response content. Do you see response content? Here you create a variable and give it a name called JSON string. So why I am saying string? Because the output of HTTP request will always be a string type. If you look at it is always a string kind of a data. Getting it is a string kind, kind of a data. 
okay this is done what is an extra cache okay i understood http request going to the url fetching the data for me and now the entire data that is fetched from the website is there in json string variable okay got it now what is next okay for that i will use something called deserialize json okay this is also the activity from uipath web activities where i asked you to install it okay so you have done that so now you will find deserialize json now that string data the string variable i am going to convert that to json object so that i can access elements of this json file this is coming in string format once it's converted to object format i'll be able to fetch the details so what i will do i'll simply say i will write the input variable what is the input variable json string right so from this output of this one becomes the input of the second activity and i said json string wonderful so now this json string if again go to the property panel okay i have kept my property panel from right to left because my video is coming right on the bottom so that's why i moved it to left hand side so it doesn't matter okay i just moved dragged and dropped here okay so display name so here what what i will do um deserialization here the output of this i will say j object or json object you can say okay json object all right hit on enter so you have created another variable called json object now what is my work my work is to go and update all these things inside the destination web application for that this json object which i have got through the api right now the output of this is json object i am going to utilize that okay now let's do one thing let's use a oh, uh, use uh, application browser there is a activity called use application browser drag and drop this it's simple and then i'm going to indicate the target application where i wanted to work now this is coming in you saw it got selected and show me this happens because on your google chrome i have installed something called ui path extension if you have not it will prompt you to install so go ahead and install that so in done now what is the next thing i want to do i want to type into right so i will use a type into activity type into and these are all modern activities so i am going to drag and drop the type into and then similar way i will copy paste copy paste copy paste copy, you know paste paste so i have how many times i have got uh, one two three four four different items let's say i want to enter you can do n number of items okay now here is the trick now if you look at the json file the the first name when you enter you should enter mrs ema you should not simply enter ema you should enter mrs ema so that means you need to combine title and first together and then place it and after mrs there has to be a dot see the dot is not present here so mrs space you can say or mrs dot ema you can say so how that can be achieved okay that is the trick you are going to learn in this video so what i will do i will first working on the, i am going to work on the type into activity okay so here you have the type this go to the property panel uh in the property panel there is something called input and then you have target okay uh, target text so i'm going to hit on this or you can directly type it here just to show you in a bigger screen i'm doing this now uh entire data is there in json object this we know what you do use a parenthesis and this entire json object inside results the first name last name is coming inside this right inside result and then inside this so what i will do i will copy the results okay one by one you do it you will understand it entirely so here i am going to copy paste so everything is there in double quote this is done now look at this has a array this result contains again multiple different uh, what do you say uh, different objects inside one there is again multiple different objects so i will because this is an array and this array is ending over here all this i have explained in the previous video so i am trying to just explain anyone who is very new so that he understands otherwise it's quite simple this is in an array so the format would remain the same all i will do i will say zero okay all right good now what is the next thing i want i need uh, the title to get the title i have to have the name right so i have to, i'll copy the name so, so that's why i asked you to keep it in a notepad so that's why you can do it quite easily so name so i got the name very good uh, then i need the title so i will copy the title okay and after this i am going to say title so it's going to fetch me the title and remember it has to be in the parenthesis parenthesis 
okay done so i got the title after that i need to put a dot so i'll use a plus sign i'll put a dot okay and then i'll use a plus sign again and the same thing i have to repeat to get the first name so i'll copy and paste and instead of title i will say first and these are all case sensitive okay i cannot write f capital it will throw error so write it as it is so first i have written okay and then because these are coming in from the object i need to convert that to two string two string okay the first one i have converted into two string uh, the last one also i will convert it to two string okay done so that's all i have done okay so this is going to type the first name in the you know type into um, in the first name so let me indicate this okay i did not indicate so let me indicate and where is the first name first name first name here it is okay and i'm going to hit on confirm that's it it's going to take the anchor automatically in the modern design this is a really very helpful look so i've done that so i got the first name from the json object the same thing i will repeat uh, for the last name where is the last name the last name okay the same thing i'm repeating uh, confirm and let's go back and here so instead of repeating let's copy the first code what we have written right so i'll go to the text and i'm going to copy this specific item so that i don't have to double you know type everything once again and then go to the second one and here i will simply change the first to how it is written last right last so here it's i simply have to change the small code so i'm done i just remove first and type last okay these are all case sensitive so be careful now what is the error i am facing let's see that properties text uh result name last dot two string okay sorry i did not copy json okay copy okay done now next thing what i have to type in i need to type in the uh let's say email address where is the email address yeah email okay so email there is also address field you know a lot of things you can do so i'm i'm sending email now look at this now this email email is a direct object okay this is not part of name or all that is it under result there is a name so what i will do, email okay so what i will do all these tricks you need to learn okay so here i am going to copy paste the same thing okay now let me open this in a slightly bigger screen so that you can see and learn okay so here instead of writing all these things i'll remove all this okay double quote and inside this because it's part of results right so i'm simply saying email getting it i simply said email and i should be done json object results zero email dot two dot two string okay now hit on okay so that way i got the email uh, so email i have got what is the next thing i need uh phone number right so let me copy this paste it below i got the email um now let's hit on this then hit on indicate target on screen um and then i'm going to say phone number where is the phone number yeah phone number and then i'm going to say hit on confirm getting it confirm and then the same thing i will repeat here go to the properties panel and in the properties panel i'm going to expand this and going to show you in a bigger screen okay so here the phone number so look at this json file how the phone number is there uh, so where you have you have cell and phone there are two things okay let's say i want to enter the cell number so you can say cell or you can simply type it here instead of email you are going to say cell okay because these are the object and inside this there is a child object so i'm simply writing the name hitting on okay so our automation is finally designed we are happy now let's run this and see how the output is coming if there is any error anyways we are going to correct that okay rectify that so let's run it and let's minimize everything okay give the site in the front okay so let's wait okay so the automation has started on my taskbar this is the new logo okay so first thing you should enter the first name do you see mr it has typed last name it has typed email address has typed phone number it has typed, then return submit 
so getting it right so how this has been designed so i ho hope uh, i am very hopeful that this video would definitely help you uh, but before you go please do subscribe to my channel guys do support me please do subscribe to my channel and you can always hit on the bell icon to get up to date you know you can stay up to date with number of videos that i'm uploading onto my channel thank you guys thank you for all the support we are going to meet once again in our next video till then take care bye bye